The cops couldn't believe that this man had started juggling. They'd stopped him to check his sobriety, and he escaped arrest thanks to his incredible talent. <laughs> this group of officers started tailgating a car because it had a broken taillight. They had suspicions that the driver may have been under the influence of alcohol or drugs, so they had to check to verify that wasn't the case. The situation up to that point was quite normal, a routine procedure for this group of police officers. However, what they didn't know was that soon they were going to be confronted with a funny situation they'd never forget. That's a cool computer, man. Oh, yeah? Where are you heading to tonight? Good deal. Is that where you just left just now? Uh, well, I went to my apartment. I was at the library with my apartment. Oh, cool, cool. For the moment, there was nothing unusual, and the conversation they were having with the young man was very friendly and normal. Where you live at? South Donaghy, University Park. Okay. Yeah. I live in Bear Village, so I'm right there by you. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah I, I actually think that University Park was originally meant to be part of Bear Village. <laughs> it seems like it, doesn't it? I, I really think that that's what it was. Now, like, really, I think that once they got it built, I think there was, like, not enough budget, not enough of the budget. So Rush Howell just took it over? I think that's the story, but I don't have anything official in there. This is what I heard. Yeah, because they look the exact same inside and out. Uh-huh. Yep. Do you like living there? Oh, man, I love it, yeah. Pretty close to campus, but you're far enough away to where you don't catch all the crowd and traffic. Right, yeah. Um, I usually bike to school, and so it's important for me to be it was time to take care of business, but the tone of the conversation didn't change. It was still all good vibes, and this is when the most surreal police checkpoint of all began. Um, yeah, so it's just this break line right here. If you were another Yeah. Uh, anyway, I'll give you something. What's that in your pocket about? I think that might Here? Yeah. It's going to sound really weird. I'm a magician, and it's a magic ball. Would you, be, would you be okay to do You don't have to. I don't want you to feel pressure. I'll do some magic if you insist. Yeah. Yes. This yes. is... We'll is um, that a juggler? Is that what... I'm also a juggler. That's dude, true. Yeah. Let's see it. Come on. Uh, that's awesome. <laughs> no pressure, though. I, I want you to know. You don't have to. Actually, God. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> this just made your night. You just made my night, man. I got to tell you. I've actually got some juggling props if you'd rather see that. Let's see it, man. But Whatever the, you feel comfortable But with. the only requirement is you have to get a video of me juggling while I've been pulled over. All right, you got so it. You hang on to that. Don't drop it. There's no case. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, you have to get a picture of me juggling. All right. Is it going? It's going. Uh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> this is the new sobriety test. It's yes. on one. You made it. Uh. <laughs> oh. oh, no. <laughs> that was awesome. I missed the finale though, I kind of got off. Oh no! That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Hey, enjoy your night, okay? Thanks, guys. Uh, and another, I'll be honest with you, another reason I stopped you, uh, you're going off to slow down Donaghy. Um, and okay. a lot of times someone going below the speed limit is indication someone's been cranky. Oh, you, really? you, got, you got close to the curb once or twice, but you're obviously fine, so gotcha. nobody can do that in toxic That's true. Right, hey, have a good Thanks, night. Thanks, guys. Okay. Yes, sir. You have a good one. Be safe tonight. Hey, thank you, too. The cops had a suspicion that this young man was driving under the influence of alcohol, but his impressive juggling skills would save him from any kind of fine or arrest. However, cases like his are few and far between. There are many more checkpoints where officers are required to perform a sobriety test on suspects. So you're gonna walk non to or sorry, I need to imagine a straight line coming out of your left foot. Do you have that straight line? So I need you to put your right foot on that line with your right heel switching left toe just like this. Okay. So I'm going to have you do is walk nine hills of steps down that line. You can get a ninth step. You're going to keep your front foot planted. Take a series of small steps around your front foot and proceed nine hills of steps back. Okay. Okay, during this test, watch your feet. Count out loud. Keep your hands on your side. And once you start this test, you have to stop this test. You have finished. you understand? Okay. All right, go ahead and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, back. As I described. Oh, I didn't even 
even... Sorry. These types of tests are very necessary to determine if a person is under the influence of any substance when driving. Of course, that can lead to two possible outcomes. Either it's confirmed that there has been alcohol or drug consumption, or, as was seen with the young juggler, any type of accusation is ruled out because the suspect shows that he or she is clearly with all their senses. What is important is to determine if the person is or isn't a danger to those around him. And what became clear was that this student was a skilled juggler who only had a broken light. Thank you.